Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you a homemade hair mask and face mask. The face mask is not a thick face mask, it's gonna be like a really thin one, but it's a really hydrating one. I'll go through whilst I put them on, all the ingredients and why I've chosen them. So I hope you enjoy it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in a minute. So I'm gonna start off by mixing the coconut oil and honey. And I've warmed the coconut oil up on the hob and it's not hot now, I've let it cool a little bit and then I mix the honey with it. And then starting from the roots, I'm literally gonna push it all through the hair and I'm gonna get a big tooth comb brush just to make it a lot easier to spread the product around my roots and down to the ends of my hair. Now, the reason I'm using honey and coconut oil is because the honey is an emollient, which means it tracks and keeps, it retains the moisture in the hair. Coconut oil, when added to the honey, helps seal this in place. So it's really, really good for keeping moisture in and helps the hair be more nourished. So I've just tied it up and I'm just gonna leave it while I do my face mask. So as you can see, I've used three key ingredients here. I've used honey, Greek yogurt, and lemon. The honey is really good because it's an antibacterial and it's full of antioxidants. So it's great for slowing down aging. It's also a complexion boost, so it's really, really moisturizing and soothing. And the Greek yogurt acts as a, um, an, a gentle exfoliator. So it actually, um, it stimulates new cell growth and it makes your skin look so much more healthy. And the lemon is great because it's full and it's so rich with vitamin C. Um, it's a citric acid which helps to lighten and brighten your skin. So this was about two tablespoons of honey, um, a tablespoon of Greek yogurt and half lemon. If you want to make it even thicker, I would suggest either putting a little bit more Greek yogurt or a little bit more honey in. So when applying the product, don't forget your ears. They're still part of your skin, so it's really important to cover those as well. And leave this on for about 15-20 minutes to get most moisture absorbed into the skin. Put to wear like an old top, so in case you get oil down it or anything. And also a button down shirt is always really good, so you don't have to lift anything over your head, especially if you're gonna get in the shower straight away afterwards. If you want to get the oil out of your hair without leaving like a greasy residue, I suggest putting shampoo onto your dry hair, massaging it in, and then use water on top, and then washing the hair again with shampoo, and it will take out all that greasy residue for you. Once that's all washed out, you can brush your hair, get out all those knots. I use a wet brush, I just find it a lot softer so you don't actually pull on the hair too much, um, and it doesn't drag the hair, which is really nice. Um, you can also let your hair naturally dry. For the purpose of this video, I actually did dry my hair, but that's just to give you guys the finished look. And voila! So I've just dried it. It feels super, super, super soft, really hydrated. It doesn't feel greasy at all. Um, as I say, if you put the shampoo on your hair before you wet it um, and massage it in, then you won't have that grease. Um, so yeah, it's feeling really, 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 really soft, which is really nice. That's what I wanted. It just felt really dry before, especially because I haven't cut it in a while. And as you can tell, I haven't coloured it for a while either. Um, but the ends are obviously still coloured and that was, that's what was feeling dry. So that's really hydrated now and the ends look so much better. So, um, so yeah, that will, uh, that will treat my hair really good for this next week. Um, I'm going to try not wash it as much as I normally do. I normally do it every other day. Um, but yeah, while we're in lockdown, might as well just leave it as long as possible. Keep all those natural oils in your hair. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. That will alert you when any of my new videos come out. And also, if you leave me a comment, I would love to hear from you, especially what you thought about the video. And if you want more, um, I will reply to you. So yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.